And then if we move on to the menus of the unit now, the first thing we come to is this on the source select menu is the input assign, which is made a lot more simple. You now assign everything on the one screen uh, for across all of the inputs, whereas before, if you wanted to assign, you had to assign per input, so you'd have to go into the DVD menu and go, yeah, I want, I want this on HDMI 1, and uh, I want the digital audio to be on optical 2, and then you'd have to go out and go into HDP and then repeat the process, whereas now you can just do everything across the board. You see there, you can assign the Denon link <coughs> per input as well, so depending on which, you know, you may, you may have purchased a recently a DVD A1UD, the new Denon Blu-ray player, which has got Denon Link 4th for just a free audio playback of um, HD, uh, True HD and DCS HD over HDMI. You can see the iPod you can assign as well, which is defaults to VCR and iPod. And you can reset the default settings there. Moving on to the video, you can select your video input uh, and then turn conversion on and off as well. You can see that you can, you know, most of the time you just leave it on source. You can turn conversion on and off, and then your uh, scaler, whether you're just doing it on analog or on over analog and HDMI, or just turn the scaler off if you don't want to let your panel or your player do the scaling. And then the resolution, progress the, and then after that, well, you generally as I set that to auto. Um, after that, you've got your progressive mode and the aspect ratio for video signal set over set over HDMI. Uh, and then into the input mode. So you auto detect or whether you want it to just look at HDMI, just look at the digital input, the analog input or the multi-channel input. And then decode automatically or just a PCM or just as DTS. Going out of here you move into the rename, which is quite simple. You just scroll through the alphabet with the remote control. So if you want to, you could set that to GVD, and then you can uh, restore that to default underneath there. And then the source level uh, for analog and digital, you can just adjust the playback to make sure it's equal with uh, equal level with other sources. Okay, into moving into the uh, further down the source select menu now, we're just going to take a slight detour and take you through the the USB uh, networking and internet radio functionality of this, which you can access via the source menu. So first off we'll go through to internet radio. Uh, you can select these by country, it knows we're in the UK by default. And once you go into the UK, like so, you can uh, search by genre. You can see there's quite a few different ones on there already. We've got alternative and Christian contemporary and uh, comedy and college and dance and then that goes right through to different actually different kinds of world music so you've got if you want to listen to some Native American world music or s some Asian world music you can do and you can imagine that there's quite a few different things. We'll just pop into popular stations for now and again you can see the usual sort of things on there like uh, Classic FM and the Hits and uh, Planet Rock so and Talk Sport is also quite popular so we'll just pop on and literally you just see Planet Rock there and you get the little loading dial at the bottom right there and then it tells you the format and the bit rate of what you're listening to and then how long you've actually been listening to it for with the name of the station in the middle of the screen. And you can commit that to memory if you want. Then you've got the uh, media server, which you can choose all of your different parts on the network. Uh, pictures, you it would take a little while just to load them all up. Um, but then once you get into there, you'll see that they're all loaded. And once they're all loaded, you just literally, this is all done with the remote control, you just hit enter to navigate and select the ones that you want to watch. So you see once it finds up, the image is all there, and we'll just uh, pop down to autumn leaves, I think, and then it just displays the image like so. And then as you go back into the menu, you can see it will just uh, pop the image behind you there. And then if we go to, say, look at some music instead, and it'll... Again, bring up all of the music on your on your PC, and then if you press play, it'll bring up. You can see there. Yeah, bring up the uh, the track name, the artist name, the album name, and then the uh, album art as well. So if we just pop back out of here and go into USB, uh, you can play tracks, uh, audio, or view JPEGs off a uh, USB uh, flash stick. You saw on the 
earlier, there was a USB port on the front and the back of the 4310. You see it's quite simple to navigate, and then we go, it's just, and again, it's displaying the, uh, the file type and the bit rate as well. And then you can choose pictures in a similar fashion. And then uh, it's the same sort of thing as Media Server, it will continue to display the picture as you navigate to the next picture. You see there, we just pop down the creek and it displays it there. Uh, or you can just navigate if you've got single music files that's not in folders, you can just do it that way. And then if you've got a Napster account, you can access that via the 4310. Unfortunately, we, we don't have a Napster account, we're not set up for one here. Uh, all of these sources can be accessible separately from the source select menu, but also grouped together here uh, for easy switch an easy switching uh, in a separate menu for similar sort of types of playback when accessed via the source select menu. Moving into the surround mode, this is just different DSP functions for the AVR4310. So you can see that for just various different things in the uh, Prologic 2X, Neo 6, and then you've got your different simulations, you know, optimizing for video games, if you want to make your amp sound like you're in a jazz club, and you can do. Uh, into the audio adjust, uh, tone controls on or off, moving into the uh, Odyssey settings after that. Yeah, again, the multi QXT on or off, and then the dynamic EQ and the dynamic volume settings as well. Uh, the audio restorer, which is um, the restorer for compressed music and lip sync functionality in one millisecond increments going from zero up to 200 milliseconds. And then the picture adjustment menu is the normal picture adjustment settings you expect to find on any, any sort of television, so contrast, brightness, chroma level key. Uh, the digital noise reduction there is for, the, you know, the Denon digital noise reduction if you want that to uh, affect the picture. And then the, uh, and then the enhancer as well.